So we're about to test out the Anchor 521 power station. I'm gonna to try to run this fan, and I'm also gonna hook up 100 watts of solder to it. The max solder that it'll bring in is 65 watts. I'm not really sure how many watts this fan's gonna pull. I'm gonna put it on high, and we're about to see what it'll pull. So first thing we're gonna to need to do is turn on the AC side. So we got AC. And we're gonna to need to plug in the fan. fan plugged in. All right, so let's turn it on. And I'm gonna turn it on all the way. We're gonna put it on high. Okay, that's the high set right there. Let's get with it. And it is pulling 69 watts. So the max that we're gonna bring in is 65 watts we would not be able to run this continuously without pulling that battery down. So let's let's pump it down one more fan. Now we're pulling 50 watts. So I believe that's medium. Let me check. I believe that's the medium setting for that fan. So we're pulling 49 watts with the fan. So we're gonna see if we can bring in 49 watts. I have a 100 watt solar panel hooked up to it. So I'm about to hook that up. Something else I wanna mention. If you get the anchor power station just by itself without the solar panels, you're gonna receive the, the wall adapter, which plug in the back so you can charge it back up with the wall. And you're also gonna receive the, the car adapter. So you can plug it up in the back and plug it into your cigarette lighter charge it about that way. That's the adapters you're gonna receive with it. You do not actually receive the adapter that you're gonna need for the, the solar panels. I have one here. What it is is an eight millimeter plug and you're gonna need it to hook up to uh, MC4 connections, which I don't know if you can see, but right here at the window, I have it hooked up. Just a little port I bought separately. Now, if you get the the, the whole generator, if you got by the power station with the solar panel from Anchor, you're gonna, that adapter is gonna come with it. You'll have everything you need to plug straight into the solar. But if you just buy one of these without the solar panel, you're gonna need this extra adapter I have right here. So I already have it hooked up to the solar. We're gonna plug it in and see what kind of watts we can bring in. We see the fan is pulling out 48 watts. So let's see what happens. Plugged in now. And we have 50, 61 watts, which is saying the max we can pull in is 65. So we see we have 61 watts. So we are actually charging it while we're running this fan. So I'm gonna let this run for a little while. I'll show you what type of solar panel I'm using. It's not it's not a portable solar panel at this time. It's just a regular solar panel I have hooked up out there. I think that's, that's pretty good, bringing in 61 watts with a total of 65 that we can bring in, which is pretty efficient. See the fans going strong. We'll come back in a little bit and see if we can actually get some charge. We're at 95% now, so maybe in an hour or so, we'll check it and see if we've moved up any on our charge and uh, see where we at. All right, and I'm gonna show you the hookup I have out with the solar. As you can see, it's just a 100 watt solar panel I, I set out here in the yard. So we got it running. And we'll say we'll run it for about an hour and see where we at. See how things are going to see if we can get any charge while we're running that fan at the same time. So it's been about 30 minutes. And as you can see, we up to 99% on the charge. The fan's running good, no problems there. I'm probably gonna stop it here. I'm not gonna run it all day. But I just wanted to show, I just wanted to see if we could charge this thing up while that fan was running. So we got it back to a 99%. And it's probably gonna stay between 99% and 100. The way these power stations usually work is this guy get down to 100 before the solar kicks back on once it gets up. I mean, this guy get down to 99%. So we're at 99 there. I don't know if it'll get up to the 100 or it's just gonna stay here at the 99%. It's charging right now. You can see the battery, little icon still going up. So uh, we still got 61 watts coming in. We did have some clouds coming over a couple times and then we down to about 20 watts, but that was only for a minute or two during this span. We had good sun. 
So with good sun coming in, you can run this thing when it's hooked up to the solar, the 100 watt solar panel all day long if you got the sun, as long as the sun's coming out and you're charging it back up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna unhook this solar panel and we're gonna look, you can see right there in the right hand corner, it tells you how much the time remaining that you can run something. So, uh, or right now it's saying recharge time, but once we unplug the solar, which I'm about to do, so the solar is unplugged. So now it's telling you for uh, remaining hours we can run it. And you can see it's saying 6.8. 6 so I'd say about six hours with no problem, you should be able to run a fan this size on medium. Um, we actually, we will turn the fan up to high and see how long you can run it on high. Well, that's low. All right, so we got it there. That's high there. So on high, it's gonna run it for about, you're looking at about five hours. So on high, about five hours. Medium, you're gonna be able to run it about six hours, six and a half hours. That's back on medium there. So let's say it's 6.8 hours. And then on medium with this size fan, you're gonna be able to run with the sun out continuously, nonstop, because it's gonna just keep charging that battery back up. So you're good to go. So I just wanted to do a little uh, video with this power station. I know I haven't tested it really on any videos. I just want to do it. And maybe in the future I'll do some more tests. It's, you know, it's got a bunch of other little features which I'm not gonna go over right now. I got a little light on it, stuff like that. Also, I forgot to mention that this thing will put out 200 watts and it has 256 watt hours. So that's what it's rated at. And then we know at the max that it, it's rated to bring in solar in at 65 watts. So I just want to mention that on what the, the ratings were on it. Uh, this power station is about 220. You can get a, uh, a coupon code. If you'll message us, if you'll get onto our webpage and, or any codes, and then you can just message us and ask us for what, what codes we may have that week. And we'll let you know if there's any discounts on the products. Right now, without a discount, it's about 220. You get a code and then, you know, you knock a few, uh, few dollars off. That's the power station alone. If you wanted the power station with the solar panel, you're looking at about, $4.99 without any, without any coupons or anything. And that would be everything you need to have this thing set up and put it in the sun with no problems. So I appreciate you taking, I appreciate you taking time out with us. In the comments below, we're gonna have a link to our webpage. You can get on there and shop around if you're interested in your own Anchor 521. Or uh, we have the solar panels. We have the uh, portable solar panels for the Anchor and for other brands as well, along with regular solar panels. Appreciate you taking time out with us. Hope you enjoyed the video.